A Macomb County man pleads with thieves to please return his stolen Jeep because there were priceless possessions inside. In fact, his father's ashes were inside that car taken right in front of his Frazier home. Victor Williams is live tonight and Victor, his father was a decorated veteran. Yes, that's right. Very highly decorated veteran and all of his awards and his accolades have now been stolen along with that Jeep. The son is saying simply he does not want that car back. Instead, all he wants are his father's belongings. Like every, everything, everything was in there. I mean, every, everything was in there. <laughs> all of his coins, all of his military records, everything. Justin is devastated tonight. Two weeks ago, his father Daniel died, and just this morning, around 12:30 a.m., his father's Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk was stolen out front of his home, with part of his father's ashes and all of his dad's belongings inside. I don't care about the cards. There's paintings in there. My my, my father was in the Pentagon when it got hit. He was uh, on the fifth floor E ring. Uh, his office was completely demolished by the airplane that day. Daniel was a retired Navy veteran who became even more of a hero on 9-11. Justin is now offering a $15,000 reward for his father's belongings, but he fears it may be too late for the vehicle. Someone wanted to joyride the vehicle, and they crashed it yesterday. A bunch of people saw it crash. Ironically, Justin had just picked up his father's ashes and belongings that morning, including the Jeep itself, and plans were being made to make sure his father's remains were honorably laid to rest. Half is going to be, uh, he's going to be buried at sea. Uh, the other half is going to be here at the Great Lakes National Cemetery. The hope is that everything can be returned, or just his father's ashes at the very least. I felt like, a, you know, a part of me left at, at, at that moment. I don't care if the car is drivable, it's not even, I, I just want all the stuff that's inside of there. I mean, it's everything. And very horrible story. Our hearts and prayers go out to Justin and his family. Tips can be made through the Fraser Police Department. Reporting live tonight, Victor Williams, Local 4.